channel firstly sorry there was no video last week i went to summer in the city last week so i didn't have time to do a video i decided not to push myself and make a video just for the sake of making a video and plus i hadn't finished this piece of art before i went i had a total of 7.5 hours of footage for this so that kind of tells you how long i spent on it that no that literally tells you how long i spent on it i spent seven and a half hours on this piece and i wanted to get it finished and do an okay job I'm not gonna say decent job because I still feel like I have a long way to go in doing digital portraits but I wanted to do a an okay job and put out a decent video rather than just rush through it so that is why there was no videos last week I had an awesome time in summer in the city by the way I met some amazing people I met Chloe Rose Art I met Jaden Animations Jamie Joe it was so so good it was amazing and I'm definitely gonna go back next year let me know in the comments below if you went to summer in the city and whether you enjoyed it and if you are planning to go to any other video conventions or any other conventions in general let me know in the comments below I'd love to hear about your experiences but in today's video as you might have guessed from the title and what is going on in front of your very eyes right now I am doing a, a digital portrait and this is my first attempt at a digital portrait of a human. I did a digital portrait of an owl um, a few months ago and I'll link that in a card and at the end if you want to go check that out. That was so much easier for me. I find it much much easier to do animals in general. That's true in traditional art for me. I'm much 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 more comfortable in drawing animals than I am people. I don't know why that is. I don't know. Is it just me or are animals easier to draw than people? And with digital art I found it easier as well because I'm not so good at blending with digital art yet. So I found doing a texture much easier than skin. If you get what I mean, I found the texture of the feathers and the owl much easier than the skin of the human here. But I wanted to try it, I wanted to give it a go and I want to get better at people, drawing people. One of my art goals for the year was to get better at drawing people and to do digital art. So this is two birds with one stone. So I am drawing a portrait of the YouTuber Mia Maples in this video. Um, I really enjoy her videos. She's kind of a beauty fashion YouTuber, but not just beauty and fashion. She does some really, really interesting content. She does a lot of wish content and that is how I found her because I have a bit of an addiction to wish. I have a couple of wish videos myself here on this channel. And again, I'll link those if you want to go check them out. But she does some really fun wish videos and does lots of different hauls and tries out lots of things. And I think my favorite, favorite video of hers was when she, um, she did a collab with her mum and she pretended to buy some crafts from Etsy but actually made them herself and watched her mum's reaction to them and it was just like one of the most wholesome videos I've ever seen and it was so funny and she did an amazing job to be honest she did a really good job making the crafts so yeah I recommend you go check that out if you want to watch just a really lovely wholesome video and she put so much effort into the crafts and I thought they were really good so definitely go and check that out but I thought I would draw her because she's really beautiful and I thought that would make a a good subject and I wanted to experiment with colour and hair and all that kind of thing so that is what I'm doing I am using Krita and I'm using a Wacom tablet I can't remember the name of it right now because it's in the other room and I'm far too lazy to go and get up and have a look but it's in my just other digital art videos so if you want to know what tablet I'm using go and check that out so yeah I'm using Krita it's a free program it's the only program I've ever used and I seriously don't know what half of the features are I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm not very good at adding layers either. I'm just really just learning as I go and there are a lot of things I need to learn. I started out with a sketch and then just went over the top with some brushes and I'm just really treating digital art like painting and just layering up and adding layers and just going over the top of what I've done. And I imagine this is what oil painting is like. I've never done oil painting, so I don't know, but I'm thinking this is what oil painting is like. So if you are new here, welcome. My name is Katie. I make art videos. I very rarely do digital art because I don't really understand it. I'm more of a traditional artist. I have lots and lots of videos on my channel. I have challenges, speed paints, discussions, some product reviews, a couple of wish videos. 
the kind of thing you would expect from an art channel so if you like this video do feel free to subscribe and have a look around my channel i have my very own little mouse character called charlie so if you want to go and meet him go have a route around my channel there are plenty of videos there and do hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss out on a upload because YouTube doesn't always put people's videos in other people's subscription boxes. So do make sure you hit that bell. And if you like this video, you know, emotionally, please do leave it a like down below as that really does help me out. And also do let me know who your favourite YouTuber is in the comments below or who your favourite YouTubers are. I have so many YouTubers that I like, I can't really list that many. But if you have a favourite, do let me know. I'm always keen on finding some new content to watch because, you know, we all have endless time to watch YouTube videos. Not like we have to do anything else in our lives. But yeah, let me know who your favourite YouTuber is. So this piece was a real struggle for me. Like I said, I'm trying to get better at anatomy. So I had the whole human anatomy battle and also not really knowing what to do in a digital portrait, but I tried my best. I used um, a variety of skin tones and I added quite a bit of purple and pink to the skin to kind of make it a bit more interesting rather than just doing brown. And I added quite a bit of deep purple into the hair as well. And for the background, again, backgrounds aren't my forte and especially digital backgrounds. If you saw the digital background in my other piece, you will understand. But I decided to go for a pink background to bring out the pink in the skin and her lips. And I added some maple leaves because her name is Mia Maple. She has a maple leaf at the beginning in her intro. So why not do a maple leaf? So I did three, no, four. Let's try again. I can count to four, honestly. I did four leaves and I did these in a brownie orangey colours and I used the colour picker to pick some tones that matched her hair to bring out the orangey tones I used in her hair. She is blonde really, but I wanted to experiment with colour so I added bits of orange in her hair. So that is what I did for the leaves and then I kind of wanted to make her look sparkly or make it kind of a lighty sparkly bucker effect. I don't really know what I'm saying. It's very late and I shouldn't be doing a voiceover this late because I'm just rambling. But anyway, I used the ink bottle tool for that because I didn't know how else to do it. And I think it sort of worked. It looks okay. Again, I think I could have done a better job. I really do want to practice more and take some more Skillshare classes and watch some more YouTube tutorials on how to do digital art better and actually understand what all these tools are. How to use the transform tool properly because I can use the transform tool, but it takes me a while to get back to being able to paint properly once I've used the transform tool, if that makes sense. And I also want to learn how to blur the backgrounds and all that kind of thing. I really do need to sit down and properly have a look at how all these tools work rather than just using the paintbrush. Although it was good practice and I did really enjoy the process and I am pleased overall with how the piece turned out. Um, do let me know in the comments below as well if you have any tips for me or any good videos you recommend or any good digital artists that really do explain things in a very very simple way because my technical mind is very limited and I need to be explained to very simply when it comes to digital art so please let me know if you have any tips or suggestions. I also think I went a little bit overboard with the highlights in this. I do think it looked a bit better with fewer highlights, but that's probably just me. It does look a bit more realistic when she has fewer highlights on her face and around her hair. And again, the hair was another struggle for me. I find hair a lot easier to do traditionally. It was really hard to do with the tablet. And I think it's probably because there was a slight lag between the program and the drawing tablet. So the hair was quite difficult. So I need to practice doing hair digitally as well as everything else digitally. So yeah, um, I feel I could have done a better job there and I could have used less highlights. And also there was a little bit of footage missed for some reason in all those hours of footage the end kind of missed off maybe I did the end forgetting that I needed to start recording that's also very probable I've done that before definitely started some art and carried on with art and forgot to hit record that's quite a common problem so it kind of jumps a little bit and I will leave a final version at the end of the video but that is all I have to say for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you next thursday i'm not going to be missing a week out again i will be uploading a video next thursday and there might even be a product from wish in there
So if you don't want to miss that out, do hit the bell so you'll get notified. But that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye for now.